My name is Jean Ross. I've been working with Sino Eagle Yachts since 2010. We introduced the Aquila brand in 2012 with the partnership of Marie Max. By doing that, we were able to get uh, very good brand knowledge throughout the world by Marie Max and their distribution and their dealership network that they already had set up. We have various design teams that we worked with throughout the world, and we've made sure that they really work on those lines of the boat. So for example, if you're out on the water and you see an Aquila, you know that's an Aquila right away as soon as you see it. The Aquila 54 project really came about when we were looking at the 44 and we said, okay, we have a really good running boat. People want a little bit more space, bigger boat basically, so that they can entertain more family and friends and stuff like that. So we took a lot of the attributes from the 44 and we brought them into the 54. From a seaworthiness and, and performance side of things, we wanted a boat that was going to be a really good running boat in the seas. The Aquila 54, if you start with the flybridge area, you have a really what we call is a Portuguese bridge deck. So the Portuguese bridge decks give you full 360 degree maneuverability throughout the boat up, up at the top there. So it's easy for a captain to run out and grab lines. He can still have, as part of our Aquila DNA, is the bow access from the flybridge. Bridge. So your standard version comes with a five panel tempered glass windshield, which is great if you're trying to dodge squall lines and but still maintain that open atmosphere up on the flybridge. I can speak from experience when we unloaded the first 54 and we brought it around. We ran into a squall line, the front line, we got pelted with rain and wind and now I was fortunate enough to be on the 54 and so we closed everything up and was able to uh, cruise in the boat at a great speed. With our Power Catamaran brand, we really focus on being a true power cat. How can we have a really good hull shape that is structurally sound, but also take the seas really well? So we focus on the bridge deck height a lot, so we bring up the tunnel height between the two hulls to where you're not going to get that pounding when you're going into the waves. We really focus on the cruise speed range of, you know, 20 miles per hour or so, 18 miles per hour to where you can comfortably set your engines and just keep, keep going. The other areas where obviously we try and bring in is the entertainment aspect. So you have the bar at the aft there to where the window opens up and you've got some nice stools to sit back there and entertain. So the whole boat can really open up as an entertainment boat for everybody. Once you step on board a catamaran, you have so much more room than you do on a monohull. Your livable square footage is tremendous. Typically it ranges anywhere from 30 to 40 percent more than a monohull. Really the amenities inside, you know, with the full-size refrigerator, you've got a really big master cabin, and then your VIP guest rooms as well are really good size when you think about a 54-foot boat. And then in addition to that, you have the ability if you wanted to get the crew cabin with the bunks at the back. The other thing is the social aspect at the back of the boat. The steps at the back, they all can be used as, as seats as well. So we did the height of the steps to where, you know, they're still functional as you can sit back there and really socialize around the aft deck area because that's typically where people are gonna hang out when you're at anchor or even if you're at the dock. There's a lot of benefits that come with a catamaran. You have a lot more social zones throughout the boat. On the Aquila range, you've got the flybridge, and you've got the main deck and below deck. There's a great place for everyone to spend time on the boat and also separately if you need your space to get away and whatever it may be, there's a place for everyone on board a catamaran. So they're a great all around family boat and also for taking on voyages if you want to travel and see the world. So some of the features that um, are tremendous features on the Aquila 54 and we have various versions on the windscreen upstairs on the flybridge. The other item was the dinghy crane system. It's a great aspect of this boat because it really opens up your aft deck a lot. Instead of having, I suppose, davits, we have a concealed crane system that you're able to hoist your dinghy, lift it up, and then move it overboard and lower it down into the water. Also, you can either get a fixed platform, which does not lower, or you have the option to upgrade to a uh, hydraulic platform that will lower down to a beach level, which is purposely designed to coincide with your dinghy height. One of the other aspects that I really like is the addition of the forward seating on the bow. It's a great place to sit and actually while you're underway, it's very comfortable up there because it actually blocks a bit of the wind. One of the key factors within the Aquila 
range and specifically the 54 where we're on board here you have very significant windows in your salon in the master cabin we have full panoramic windows so it feels very nice and open you have a beautiful view regardless of where you are and that's a very important aspect from taking advantage when you're at sea is really enjoying where you're at aquila 54 experience is world class it's a great uh, great experience to be on an aquila